Hi guys, and thank you very much for tuning in. It's Squidgemeister here with a, <laughs> with a very special fan-made dossier. The uh, Snowy Owl Bubo Scandiacus is the Latin name for that. And this is actually a dossier that I made using a template provided by another YouTuber called Metatrox. I will put a link for his channel in, in the down there. Check that out. And thank you to him for providing that. And also the artwork that you see in this is not done by me. It's done by the sort of people of various websites who I don't know personally. Um, but big shout out to them for, for leaving the, these kind of things on the internet for people like us to use. Really glad that you've tuned in today. I'm just going to talk through the dossier basically and uh, the idea behind it. Let's start with the name Snowy Owl Bubo Scandiacus. It's nocturnal obviously because it's an owl. It's a rodent hunter. So that my, my thought process behind this is that it hunts smaller animals. Temperament unpredictable. Um, so as an example of that, the owl seems hateful of smaller flyers and will attack them on sight. And I, I just thought I'd give it a little bit of personality if it was only aggressive to certain dinos. I don't know if that's something that could ever even be implemented into the game. But I thought it was a neat little idea so it goes after sort of Dimorphodons or even Lystrosaurus. Um, maybe even a Fiomia, you know, that would be quite a funny thing to see. And now let's just zoom in on this little bit here. This sly owl can be found at all heights in the coldest places. So yeah, obviously you want the snowy owl to be found in the snow biome. And that's getting an expansion soon, so I th that's pretty much why I put that in there. I thought it'd be cool if that came with like a new creature. Obviously this isn't going to go into the actual game, but you know, you've got to use your imagination a little bit when you do these things. It, along those lines, it has been seen rarely in the redwoods, where it hunts the less powerful flyers and rodents that dwell there. Now we're also getting the Archaeopteryx with the Redwoods and I just think it would be great to, to consider the Owl in that way um, as a sort of hunting the, the Archaeopteryx, the Dimorphodon, the Lystrosaurus, these sort of new dinosaurs that have come fairly recently that are very small, Titan Mamirma as well and uh, Meganeura, it could be, it, there's no reason it shouldn't attack them. Now this is probably the, the most interesting bit, Domesticated. The, owl, the wise owl has the odd ability to signal the coming of dusk with its hooting, as owls would do, right? And now, this sound seems to rouse predators at night. Now, I know that there is an upcoming dinosaur similar to the Carno that is strong at night. And this kind of thing, I just thought, like, maybe it has some kind of buff that follows you around, so you stick it on follow, it flies around after you and makes any carnivorous dinosaur stronger at night. I thought that'd be a pretty cool thing to have. And then I put this in, don't try to pick it up or it might just fly away. And now I, I want I want this creature to, to be sort of considered as a very willful animal and almost to the point of intelligence. So if you try and pick it up or use it as a parachute or anything like that, then it might untame itself. So perhaps you do you are able to use it as a parachute for say five seconds, but then it becomes wild again and flies away. I don't know. I don't know if you could ever implement that into the game, but I thought something like that kind of suits Ark. It's a game that really doesn't forgive. And I, I thought that'd be interesting. I put a little parachute symbol right here that you can see. Okay. And then, as for taming it, I thought... Oh, I've written here. Despite being mainly carnivorous, the owl seems very glad to eat seeds from survivors. Perhaps it lacks the patience to harvest them itself. Again, I'm just sort of trying to create a bit of a mythos around this creature. Uh, and it, I thought it might be interesting if its kibble tame was something really simple like stimberry seeds or tinto berry seeds, something that you just don't really use all that often but would have to kind of drag out just to tame, tame this up. Now, <laughs> the scale, I've used this funky looking little picture here um, against these people. I'd, it's not something I would s say should be a rideable animal. I think that would be a bit repetitive because you've already got the Argentivis. It's a little bit like that, the Dimorphodon, but um, it, I'd, I'd want it to be a kind of more a weak buff providing creature. And the Dimo's got its, its sort of stamina attack that it does, um, and it's very hard to hit. Maybe this is slightly easier to hit, but it's got that aura providing power of making things stronger at night. I don't know. And then I thought, depending if you could implement it into the game, there's no real way of telling the time in the game unless you use the HUD to tell you so, the advanced HUD. So I thought, I, I wrote this, I guess I should not be so surprised that this bird seems so much more willful than its lesser evolved cousins. Sometimes I think it tries to say what hour it is. I just, I, I know that parrots are probably like the kind of 
birds that you would think of as talking but I thought it'd just be really cool to have a, like a bird-like sound of what, what time it is. I'm, I'm not going to disgrace myself with an impression. Again, big shout out to, to whoever did this artwork. I don't know them personally. I don't know their name. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. We're going to wrap it up there. I just uh, I really hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, please do remember to hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And consider subscribing for daily content. So thanks very much, guys, and take it easy.